Welcome to my channel, Ignore My Orange Hands. Today we're gonna to be trying out TikTok viral gadgets, products, things that we've never seen before. We're gonna try them all out in today's video. No time wasted on the intro. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Let's jump right in because we got a lot of stuff to try. This item has gone all over TikTok and I don't even know why I would ever need one of these, but I bought it just because I immediately needed to try this. We're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok on this rocket bubble gun. Look what I got my daughter for her second birthday. That is a bubble bazooka. I got this on Amazon. It says it comes with a bubble solution and you just plug it up, dip it in the tray. Actually, don't plug it up. Do you plug it up? Do I need to charge this? Hopefully it comes charged. If not, we'll charge it. But we're about to go try this out right now and see if we can have a bubble party of our own. Okay, here's the bubble blaster. It actually comes with five tubes of bubbles, which is kind of nice. You just put it together yourself. It's so easy to put together. And it, it came with a battery that you charge. The battery goes in here and it gives you a little USB cord to recharge the battery. This looks intense. Huh? It's not. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pour the bubbles in the tray and then it says we dip the, I'm like kind of concerned, but we dip this really good in there. He has no idea what's happening. Okay, wait. That was a lot. That was a lot. Shoot it again. They all went that way this time. They're in the pool. It kind of like shoots them for like a second and then you have to keep dipping, right? Yeah, well, it's kind of a windy day. Oh. Okay. Ty's gonna take a go at this. All right, here we go. You have to dip a lot, don't you? Like, yeah. you don't get a lot. <laughs> so cool. But I wish you got more bubbles out of it. Like, uh, it only goes for like two seconds and then it kind of like dipping. stops. Yeah, you have to keep dipping. Whoa, look how many. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a good dip. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you start blowing as soon as. <laughs> like, They're going inside. Like, as soon as you start coming up, you gotta start blowing. All right, go. Okay, so you see it kind of like quit shooting bubbles quickly, but what would you rate this thing? If I'm a kid, it's pretty cool. Yeah. If you're an adult and you're trying to have a party, do not spray boo-boo. I will. Aw, <laughs> you scared my man. You big meanie. Golly, that's all. Ah, they're coming at me. What would you rate the bubble maker? I'd give it like a eight. Pretty cool. I don't like that it like doesn't continue to shoot bubbles. I'm gonna give it a six. Our next item is something for the girly pops out there who have a lot of dirty makeup brushes. I don't even know if it's gonna work because I've tried the gimmicky makeup brush cleaners in the past and they didn't really do what I needed them to do. We're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok because TikTok does what TikTok always does and it makes things look 10 times better than they actually are. Roll the makeup brush clean TikTok. Let's go clean our brushes. Click the button and it starts spinning. A little bit of shampoo. This is how dirty this brush is. What? It is so clean. So as you can see, it does look pretty promising. My thing is, I think they used the Cinema Secrets Blue Cleaner in this, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing because I think that is the best way to make this bad boy work right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So you plug it up. Can I just be a little brat real quick and complain? I hate that nowadays everything doesn't give you an actual plug up. They give you the cheaper version where you have to provide your own cube. I wish things came with a cube or like the plug in the wall because you have to provide that extra step and it just makes me like, <laughs> I have to find a cube now. First world problems, we're moving on. This comes out, which is nice. You can clean it, but it just pops in here and then it gives you the start guide. So let's go try it out. This is us trying the brush cleaner. I have it plugged up here here it is not a chargeable one it's more like a plug up one and it has just a little power button i have some dirty brushes ready to go and we're gonna put some cinema secrets which i'll go ahead and link this this is an instant brush cleaner and i'm gonna put it in here because it looked like in the video she had the blue cleaner in there i do feel like this would work with the blue cleaner i'm skeptical about using it with like soap and water like i'm skeptical like if that's really gonna be a game changer for cleaning makeup brushes but let's go ahead and turn it on that simple. And then this brush is pretty dirty. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We might have something going here. Oh, 
Why do I love it? Oh, I think I love it. Especially for the Cinema Secrets. I don't use Cinema Secrets on all my brushes, although you 100% can. I just feel like some of my foundation brushes get so goopy, they need like a good soap and water. Oh, look at that. The little silicone ridges in the bottom really help get the product out. And I'm just spinning, if you can see, just spinning this brush. How cool is this? Okay, wait. All of these automatic brush cleaners are just total flops. So I think I am gonna try it with soap and water next, but let's go ahead and finish off these brushes. Just twirling, you can just see the product releasing. I will tell you the cleaner is doing a lot of the job here, but this thing really does make it easy. Like just being able to put your brushes in and then I'm just getting off the excess. Whoops, almost knocked the whole thing off my desk. You can kind of see almost a before and after. Okay, so here's our dirty girl. Whoa, look at that. Look at the product just melt out of the brush. So we're just gonna swirl her around the opposite way. And we're just gonna run off any of that dirtiness. Wow, and then I like to do this on the paper towel to get the excess cleaner off. And look at that dirty water. We're gonna go ahead and stop it. And one thing I like about this is this part removes, if I can do it, if I had two hands, it would be easier. But um, that part removes and you can wash it out. So let's try it with some soap and water. I have water in here right now and I'm gonna add this brush cleaner. Just gonna add a little bit in there. But the only thing is, the real deal is you gotta take them to the sink after this and you do have to rinse them because obviously they would have the soap in it. It's just. Try to get, oh, look at that, wow. I can't really see much of what's going on, but you can really start to see product releasing. Okay, let's get a visibly dirty brush like this one. You can see the product in the brush. And we're also gonna put it on the cleaner, see if it works. But this, is, this did work. But again, your work's not done here. Like after you use just obviously the brush cleaner and soap, you gotta now take it to the sink and give it the good rinse. Dirty brush. Popping it in, I'm just keeping it in one spot. And this kind of does do the work for you. Look at that, so fast. Okay, I'm into it. Now this one's got cream product built up in it. I kind of just want to, for our last go, give this a, give this a little, oh, wait. Oh my God, that came clean so fast. One, that cleaner's really good, but two, I think the rotating just helps break up the product. Let's do the other side of the brush too. I'm getting water everywhere. Wow. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, so it works. It, it works like a charm. It definitely makes it easier. Okay, I have to go rinse these brushes now. So I have to say, I think this product works. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I'm actually like, Honestly, kind of surprised. I really am. I thought it was just gonna be a gimmick, trash. I think it works best with the Cinema C Secrets. This is like an auto brush cleaner. It's alcohol-based, so it also desanitizes your brushes and you don't have to rinse them. It also works with the soap and water. It helps give them that extra clean with the spinning motion. I think it's a pretty cool thing, and this is the least gimmicky item I've used for an auto brush cleaner, so I'm into it. Our next item includes magic, or so it says it in in the name. This is a cup that you literally can create a slushie out of any liquid drink. Go ahead and roll that TikTok. So it says you put it in the freezer for a few hours and then you're supposed to squeeze it and it's supposed to like turn it into a slushie. Look. It's turning into slushy. As you can see, it takes a little maneuvering, it takes a little bit of work, but I have it right here. Well, it's not actually in the box, but I have it in my freezer because you have to freeze the cup for three to four hours before you can make your smoothie. And I just realized that, so about an hour ago, I put it in there. So we're gonna go try it out. Am I gonna try to make a Dr. Pepper smoothie? You know I am. Step one, we're taking it out of the freezer because we have had it in there for three hours. How long is it supposed to be in there? I don't know. Ooh. Let me see, is it frozen? Yeah. So what's up? Frozen. Do we just pour this in it? All right, I'm gonna fill it just, yeah, it's frozen. So it did say you could put carbonated drinks in here. It basically said you could put alcohol drinks, anything you want, and you just pour it in, and then you squeeze the sides until it turns into a slushie. Not to the top, yeah, and now start squeezing. Whoa. I feel stupid. How fast are we supposed to be going? Wait, it's starting to freeze. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Am I doing this right? It says put the lid on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in a minute, she'll have, I don't think you're doing it fast enough. Or do we feel like the cup wasn't frozen enough? It said in just minutes, so like. Okay, I'm kind of dying, but we're seeing a frosty start to form and it's been only how many minutes? Like a minute. Oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, we're gonna do this for a little while longer. I'll come back. 
I mean, listen, this thing does take work, but this is so cute. You can see the slushy, and then it comes with a spoon Jesus. if you want to eat it with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. It is a wrist workout, y'all. Yeah, I'm kind of dead. I want to show them. Show them. <gasps> it feels like oh, bad oh. scoop. You're terrible. Oh my God. Oh my god, take a bite. No, this is for you. <laughs> well, Turn I have it to around. Go. It's the world's first Dr. Pepper slushy. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. You know what this needs? It needs vanilla ice cream in it. So you can make like a root beer float or like mm -hmm. a dark pepper float. Oh my god. You want to try a straw? <gasps> this is my new favorite way to drink Dr. Peppers. Look, now you got a little 7 Eleven cup. Tasty. <laughs> mm. Mm. Tasty. Tasty. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you screaming? <laughs> he was pulling my hair. Because it hurt. What do you think? I thought you were excited about the slushy. I am. I mean, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, if I was a kid, I'd really be into this. I know, like I would literally put every drink ever in there. Mm. Okay, well, I rate this a 10 out of 10. This That's was, a 10 out of 10. This was so much fun, by the way. It's a 10 or 10. And we're not even kids. It's a 10 out of 10. -er. 10 or 10. -er. Okay, it's magic. They win. This next one killed me. Like it took me out of the game. I've never seen anything like this and I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But if it works, it's gonna be the smartest thing I've ever seen. We're just gonna roll the TikTok. Six Amazon home finds that are worth the money. First is this robot window cleaner that moves from top to bottom with smart detection and leaves your windows shiny and streak free. An electronic window cleaner robot. So they have the Roomba, which is like the electronic vacuum cleaner for your home. And now we have the electronic window window cleaner. First of all, this thing was like $150. Second of all, I found it on Amazon. Third of all, I seriously doubt it's gonna work, but if it does, it's gonna help me out a lot because I have the French doors and they're all glass. So I'm like, dang, if that's gonna clean them itself, I'm going to literally scream. And fifth of all, fourth of all, I don't even know what of all we're on right now, but I feel like this is gonna be really hard to like figure out. So I'm gonna get Tyler to help me. This is the window cleaner and Tyler has been working very hard to put this together. It's currently charging, it says, to this wait till it's fully much. charged, but we're just gonna, yeah, it's just trash. So it says it's supposed to be fully charged, but we're just gonna put it on there and we're gonna go. It comes with this safety cord. It didn't really explain what it's for, but I'd assume <laughs> maybe so the robot doesn't go rogue on you. <laughs> you have to tie it up. You have to tie it up. Oh my God. This is one of these items again that like, if oh. Ty wasn't here, I wouldn't even buy this because I know I'm not even gonna try to get into all this. This is too much. I'll just clean the window for God's sake. Honestly, this is a, it's a lot of work to clean a window. <laughs> this is the juice you have to make it. They give you a tablet and you do like a gallon of water and the tablet dissolves and that's Almost the cleaner dissolves. you Good put enough. in it. This is giving dramatic. It's very dramatic. I didn't have a gallon jug so I just did it in the sink. But I'm gonna fill this bad boy up. I think you just take the lid off of it and fill it up. Cause you insert the juice in the machine. This is so dramatic. I can't keep up with your hand. <laughs> Sorry. I is inserting. <laughs> Inserting the juice. This is too much. I'm telling you, the drama of it all. This better clean it like 50 times. I swear to God. I also don't know how much to put I in. I could have cleaned every window in this house by the time. I'm just gonna hold the safety rope. <laughs> it's gonna be like a dog <laughs> on a leash. So it says to hold it to turn it on, and Laura has a remote in her hand, and it's got different features. So this thing is like automated to where it's literally you should be able to walk away, and it's supposed to go like this. How does it stick to the glass? It has a motor. We're about to see. So it says turn it on first, so loud. and then stick it. Okay. Oh. Oh. What do I do? Why is it flashing red? We'll be right back. It. No. So I wonder if it's fully charged. It must be. All right, you ready? It's fully charged now. That was the problem. She's on. You have to get the remote. Okay, we cannot get it to work whenever it's not plugged up. So I don't really know what's wrong with that. Right there. <laughs> it's cleaning the window. <laughs> Y'all, I'm dead. What is this? Look, it felt the perimeter. Yep. It's going back. Alright, <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> Y'all, I'm dying. Do you have to control it? No, I'm not doing that. Oh, it's just doing it on its own? Yeah. This is so scary. I love it and hate it. I'm gonna go outside and see what it looks like from the <laughs> Okay, I feel like I can really show you it now because it is so, so loud. Cool. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner going. Which... I'm gonna hit the spray thing. Let's see if it actually sprays. All right. Do you see it spraying? 
No, but you can see like the liquid, I guess. Maybe it like sprays the cloth. I don't know, it's so scary. I'm so scared of her. Mesmerizing, huh? <laughs> I mean, just imagine walking by. <laughs> I have this thing cleaning my, I swear to God, if it leaves it, what if it left is so streaky? Like, you see how it's going down now? Yeah, it like works its, it's gonna... way down. It's so smart. It's like the Roomba. All right, wow. what, do you, what do you rate it? I mean. The setup was kind of annoying. Yeah, it was, it was hard to set up. Love, but I like, just put it in the background. Now it's just, oh. <laughs> now it's just a one-time setup and you just turn it on. I don't know what the rope is for. Like, in case it like, tries to take over humanity, that's maybe? That's what we can't figure out. And it shows in the pamphlet, which I need to show you guys. It's like shows you tying the other end of the rope to something so it doesn't take off. Very cool. All right, let me ask you this okay. before you rate it. Mm -hmm. Will you actually use it? I would never use this. I mean, listen, maybe if it was 2030, but I feel like this is not for 2023. What does that mean? Like, I just feel like it's too early. Humanity is still doing household chores on their own to a certain degree, and I feel like this is too advanced but it is so fun to watch also something i don't like about it is how noisy it is yeah it's kind of loud i, I want to put something on the window just so we can see if it cleans it mm -hmm. i do see like the watermarks though okay yeah so you can see the solution anyways um what do you rate it i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 i think it's pretty cool oh i think it's amazing how it sticks to the window i have no earthly idea how it's, it's stuck on there <gasps> it vacuums that hardcore yeah that's why it's so loud Dang. Okay, I get it now. Wow, engineer. Ingenuity. I like it. Okay, cool. cool. Welcome to the future, baby. I bought a rainmaker for the perfect night's sleep. It came from this gadget TikToks for the perfect night's sleep. I'm like, okay, lies. Just kidding. I bought it. We're going to roll the TikTok so you know what I'm talking about right now. It came in. We're about to put this bad boy together. It does look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, especially on TikTok. Like, I was like, wow, that looks really pretty, serene. It sounds like it would be beautiful. And I'm just interested to see what's gonna happen here. It does look nice. Like, it looks pretty to set out on your nightstand or whatever that may be. But we're gonna see if it really does create that rain-like sound. I also saw you could put essential oils in it. So if you wanna have a multi-use moment with it, you definitely can. But let's go put this bad boy together, plug it up and see if we hear the rain. Tyler has, you know, set up our rainmaker. Not the Dr. Pepper in the back. I think this thing might have to charge. Oh. Oh, so you hold down the power button. Oh, did you where'd you put water? Explain this to I, me. I just filled the water up to the line here. So the bottom part detaches? Yeah. <gasps> there it goes. Oh my god, wait, it's so cute. If you didn't hear the gosh darn leaf blower. <laughs> Always. Wow, makes me want to pee. I, it does sound like someone TT. It says you can change the color if you want. Oh. Ooh, I do like red. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a vibe. It's a very Gen Z thing I just said. 100%. <laughs> it it is though. I could just see myself like chilling in my room with the door closed, even though I never really do that. All right, what does this one do? And just having- I've changed the intensity of the light. Oh, that's cool. So, okay. Well, this is, this is it. Let's listen. It just sounds like somebody pissing. <laughs> it's not very Something loud. Something is so calming about watching the actual waterfall though in it. It's just like how it slowly drips out. It's kind of a calming vibe. And if you set it to like a low or the red light and dim it, I do feel like it would make your room really vibey. Like just kind of like a calm, serene, 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 serene. See, that's nice. White's a little bright, but it's cute. You like red? What color yeah. picks up best on camera? I mean, you can see all of them, honestly. That's, that's that. The Rainmaker is making rain. It's more of a sprinkle than it is actual rain. Yeah. You can also put, it said your essential oils in it, didn't it? In oh, the water? no, I did not read that, but maybe. Maybe I made that up. <laughs> you made that up. Maybe, I made maybe that you up. can, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I like it, so. What are you giving it? What are you rating that? I'm honestly gonna give it a 10 out of 10. And that's a lot for me to be just throwing out 10 out of 10s, but I, I kind of like it. I'm gonna go five out of 10. 
shade. For our next item, it is a Lazy Girl hack. This one seems so silly and stupid, but I actually think there's some good uses for this bad boy right here. We're gonna go ahead and roll the TikTok so you can see what I'm even talking about. Yep, there it is, a finger remote for my TikTok. Whenever I have my TikTok on there and I'm trying to scroll, I always lose my balance. So now I have a little remote. As you can see, this is like one, the cutest thing ever. It's a controller for your phone and it Bluetooths to your phone. We're about to try it out. I'm gonna put it in the case and charge it up. I find that there could be two good, how does it go in here? Here we go. I think, oh, look at it, it's in this middle box. I feel like I will definitely lose this, but there are two good uses I could see this for if it actually works out, which I think it will. Whenever I'm in the bathtub and my hands are wet, I would love to prop my phone off and just click the little button on there like, and let it scroll through TikToks. And the second time I think this would be good is whenever I'm working out and I'm on the treadmill walking and sometimes I pull up TikTok on my iPad. It would be nice not to almost trip to my death trying to scroll. It would be nice just to have this on my finger and just the while this is a lazy girl hack, I do think it is kind of could be useful. So we're gonna try it out. So first you need to follow these instructions in your settings in your phone and just turn your accessibility touch on. Now you should be able to use it, but you should have that mm. little accessibility button right here. It needs to be showing on the screen. It can't be like tucked away in a corner. It's so annoying that you had to turn the accessibility on and off though. Yeah, like whenever you're done, that's kind of annoying. But what are you clicking cool. to go up and down? So the middle button pauses. Love that. And then the bottom goes down. Simple as um, that. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, this is a good time to plug the hat. What is that dot? It's like the accessibility thing. Does it stay there? Um, it looks like it. It was in a different area earlier. Do I like my own TikToks is really the question that everybody's asking themselves. And to answer your question, <laughs> I yes. do. I like that. Yes, she does. Wait, go back. That's a funny one. That one's so funny. What do you rate it? The thing is, I feel like I would have never probably gotten this set up if I didn't have you here because it was a lot of reading and understanding and active thinking to get to. But if I got it set up, I would actually probably use it and enjoy it. I feel like it's pretty cool. Like you just have to turn your accessibility on and off and you gotta have that dot on the screen. But for what it does is 10 out of 10. Right, it's kind of cool, right? It works, yeah. It has a little charging case like AirPods do. I don't know that I would ever use it. You probably would in the bath maybe. Or on the treadmill. Or on the treaders. Watch me, I feel like I'm gonna lose it to be honest with you, but. Definitely gonna lose it. Anyways, on to the next item. For our last one, I gotta take my lippy off because this uh, lip product went viral and we're gonna try it out right here, right now. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna try it out right here, right now. Let's just roll the TikTok on this lip plumping little bitty gloss. My hands have gotta be distracting on some level. They look like I've been playing in clay mud all day. And the truth is, I thought I was trying out a gradual self tanner, which is like after like three or four or five uses, you start to see a little bit of glow. Turns out I was playing with an instant self tanner and I woke up orange and streaky all over because I did not read what I was doing. Okay, back to the lip plumper. Plump attractive lip is what it says. It has a before and after on the packaging. I mean, people are like swearing by this little bitty thing on TikTok. I'm scared for how bad it's gonna burn me, but this is it. It comes in this little bitty pill. Peel, y'all love how I say peel. Okay, let's, let's put it on. <laughs> Smells like chemicals. It feels nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Like it feels pretty nice. I'm not feeling any burn. Oh, I'm feeling the burn. I'm burning right now, I'm on fire. <gasps> it hurts. Oh my God, it's like the lip injections, AKA cause an irritation to your lips so that way they explode or just get lip filler. All right, let's wait it out and see what happens. It's hurting, I'm in pain. Yep, feels like I just ate some cayenne pepper and um, I got the residue on my lips. My lips are hurting. Do they look more plump or do they not? That is the question we're all here to ask ourselves. <gasps> Oof, I feel like my bottom loop's getting a little puffy. I'm spooked. I've had it on for like three minutes now and I feel like the burning is starting to calm down and I'm starting to see a slight plumping thing going on here, okay? 
give me the plump. It's not dramatic, it's not crazy. I didn't really expect it to be, but I do notice a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you guys do. I'm feeling a little bit plumpy. And if you just need some extra plump and you don't wanna spend a fortune on the Too Faced you know, lip injections, this is literally a dupe. It feels the exact same as the Too Faced, and I think it works. You know, I think it does like a little bit of plumping, nothing too crazy, but I think it makes the lips look a little extra juicy. I also think it looks just like the Too Faced lip injection with a shine on it and all that I mean it's not a gimmick it's not like a crazy like you're not gonna look you got lip filler okay but it is gonna give you a little oomph to your lips just like a oomph. I would say they look 10% mm, I would say like 7% bigger than they did before okay so nothing crazy going on here but you just have to ask yourself is it worth the tingle because it does burn my upper lips still tingling a little bit I like it. I don't hate it and I think it's a total dupe. I think you can save your money on the lip injection. So that is my review of that and with that being said that was our last product we tried out. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Be sure and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this because we can try out more products okay. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.